Welcome to the J. Wayne and Dolores Bar Weaver Simulation Center. Thank you for coming to see our facility today. This over 12,000 square foot space encompasses simulation rooms, classroom spaces, and a procedural skills lab for human and animal tissues lab. This is the task training room. This is a drop-in space used for self-guided learning and houses several advanced training devices, including a Da Vinci robotic surgery backpack, the CAE ultrasound trainer, and symbonics for liposcopic practice. Out the door and around the corner to the right is our 50-seat classroom called the Learning Center. This space is where didactic learning happens prior to simulation activity and a briefing happens afterward. If you look up in various places around the space, you will see one of our many cameras that help us capture all the activity that occurs during learning. Down the hall and to the left a bit is our Procedural Skills Lab, or PSL. This space is where our human cadaver and animal tissue labs take place. Some things simply cannot be simulated, so the PSL is where we can utilize real tissue to help our learners train. Outside vendors can bring in new products for staff to try before they buy, and our continuous professional development courses can bring in providers from around the world to learn from the best in the business. If you notice the change in the flooring, you'll see that we've transitioned from the presentation space to the scenario space. Please proceed into the emergency room on your right. The emergency room is a space where learners are exposed to scenarios that simulate actual emergent cases that would present in a real emergency room. All of our spaces are made to look as close to the real clinical space as possible so that the knowledge gained here can directly translate back to the clinical environment. This is one of our two exam rooms. These rooms are typically used to simulate communication scenarios. This is the debrief room. After participating in a scenario, learners proceed to the debrief room where they can discuss what happened during their scenario. This inpatient room is used for inpatient scenarios that range from post-operative recovery complications to chemotherapy drug reactions. Procedures can be practiced here just as easily as communication training. This is a versatile room that serves many specialties. This room is called a control room. The control rooms allow instructors and support staff to execute and monitor scenarios without interrupting the learning. The mannequins and vital sign monitors are controlled from these spaces via computerized interfaces allowing for real-time interaction with the learners both verbally and through physiologic changes. Our technical staff manage the video integration of the cameras and microphones to ensure activities are captured appropriately for playback. This helps learners review their performance and identify potential areas to improve their practice. This is the operating room, or OR. The OR hosts some of our most complex simulations because this is typically a room that requires a team to operate. We train anesthesia residents, OR nurses, and even radiology staff using this room. All the equipment is real, so the experience feels real. Now you've seen the whole space. Thank you for visiting today, and please remember to ask any questions you may have at Florida Simulation Center at mayo.edu.